So this dream is about this person that is waiting on the elevator, that they're in the hotel room and they're waiting for the service elevator, okay? So the the hotels have, not the hotel room, I'm sorry if I said that, the hotel. So hotels have service elevators where the housekeepers and all the linens and usually the bellboys and room service use and they don't use the regular um, elevators with the regular guests. So, there, so this person is waiting to get on the elevator and as this person is there waiting all the employees right which are mostly women which is very interesting right are waiting for the elevator as well and they're humbled by this person's uh, presence because they know that this person does not belong and is not you know doesn't belong with them but that nonetheless she, um, you know this person doesn't feel that they're less or anything and so she's going in with them into this elevator right that is a service elevator it doesn't seem like she's part of the housekeeping or anything like that but they're going to use the service elevator so there so there's a sense of being humbled and maybe honored by this person riding with them in the elevator and so um, as they go in it's supposed to be like they the elevator is this long like hot dog and so they get in rows to be able to fit right and so as this person's going in with all the other people getting on the elevator, there's a blob of like cranberries, okay? And, um, and then so, uh, cranberry sauce, okay, not cranberry. So there's a blob like a cranberry sauce that they sort of go over, okay? That's very interesting. So part of the way that I do interpretations is that I verbalize it and during, during the explanation of it, when I'm talking to the person and when I'm writing it out, there's, um, you know, symbols and there's messages from divine and spirit and, and source that, you know, come to me. And so that's how I sort of interpret it. So they go over the cranberry sauce, okay? And they're there. So then the next scene is that they are um, like in this bus and it's kind of rocky. It's a rocky road and they're being transported and they're sort of like on top of this um, like city. In it, you know, they this person she sort of sees uh Gwyneth Palto, or I think is her name, I forget what her name is, you know, that uh, you know, that celebrity or whatever. And so she sees her there, like really uh, you know, laid back and uh, you know, sort of like in a pose uh, that she apparently saw in a magazine the previous week. This is real life for this person, okay? And so she sees this person, and as if she's on top of over, overlooking the city after after they sort of get down, she gets down with uh, the ladies that she was in the elevator, but also the ladies that she was on the bus with. And then in there, um, she her next uh, scene is that she's giving the lady some um, like advice, okay? So this uh, person specifically is going on this event. So that was the end of the dream, okay? So this person specifically is going on this venture, okay? Um, like this business venture in which she consults people, okay? And so what this is, is that she's getting in the elevator, right? And the elevator is going up. So she's ascending and she's going up in, in, in status and in, in position and in career and in her, in her business and whatever her venture is. So, so that's a good scene. And the people that are in there is probably her, her type of market or her clientele or her customers that she'll be, you know, that she'll be tending to it. And it was like a big elevator and there was a lot of people. So she will have reach in her venture to um, a lot of people, right? And then the next scene is that she's riding along the bus. So riding along the bus is usually like a journey, right? Of like education, a path, you know, it's like a life lesson. It's like your journey of what it is. And if you're on the bus, it's it's like you're learning okay and so in so when they get down right the next scene is that she sees Gwyneth Powell and so I asked her I said well what was that she says well you know she looked you know I saw her in a magazine and she just looks so healthy okay so um so then so then that was it so get Gwyneth Powell or whatever her name is I don't know what her name is represents um, you know, maybe the epitome of what health is. And so that means that maybe this person 
um, you know, is, is, is very healthy and it's just a reflection of that. Or maybe this person is going through some things, health issues, and that's a reflection that everything will be okay and that maybe, and that she will be healthy and that she's healthy and she'll overcome it. The cranberry sauce also, cranberries signify health and abundance, right? So the cranberries signify and, and confirm, right, the health that goes with Kenneth Powell that she saw because she saw it in a magazine. So that was on her mind. So that's the representation. Presentation. And then, of course, um, it also represents health. So it's a unity of both health that she'll come out okay in whatever it is that she's doing with her health. The other thing, and then and then the next scene after she sees Gwyneth Powell is that she's, you know, consulting this person that she was writing with. So that is her business. She consults, okay? And she has a consulting firm. So she will be tapping into her customers and she will be consulting and she will be doing very well. And so the cranberry salts sauce is also uh, maybe a time frame. So I told you that within winter, you know, within the holiday season. So like maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas is when she will really be sort of to some degree, very solid. So, so it is, so this dream was just really a confirmation of two, it's multi-layered. She's having probably issues with health, even though she's very healthy. So that person will be okay. And it's confirmation from divine spirit, source, God, that she will be okay and that the health will be okay. There's also a confirmation that in her venture for work and her career, she will be doing very well. She will have lots of abundance. She will have a lot of clients and a lot of customers that she will be ascending to in terms of her work and she'll be okay. And the rocky, the rocky part of the, of of the void, not the voyage, of the passage of her riding the bus means that she's had, you know, maybe some challenges that haven't been all that, you know, you know, haven't been all that big, but nonetheless, it's been a rocky road to get to the end of the road where she's overseeing it. So she's on top of mastering her career and this project and this venture that she's in. And that's what it symbolizes. And her speaking to the to the lady tells her that it's career related and that it has to do with the venture that she's currently in. It was a really neat dream. Many blessings, love and light.